Hey guys, this is the Midnight Show with Tony Trujillo, episode 9, part 2. Now, this part's not going to be too big, but referring to the last part, this is my question. Why is it that everything you say on the internet or do is, like, monitored? Like, you can't do anything anymore, even with the internet. There's no freedom of speech. And going back to SOPA, like my friend Dalton Baker had said, the government has no right to own that because it's simply just, no one owns the internet. Nobody does. And I believe him when he says that. But, just saying, like, right now, I do have that 2% in me that feels like I'm going to get in trouble for putting this on YouTube. But, like, it's the truth. You can't do or say anything on the internet anymore without being harassed by some sort of form of law or people in general. I mean, YouTube trolls are one thing, but the law itself is another thing. Um, I guess I really can't answer that because the answer is probably going to be pretty simple. It's the law. But, um, anyways, I want to take this time to talk about a movie script I had in mind. I was thinking about writing a movie script. Obviously, it's going to be kind of like a... I want to film it in black and white because I want it to look like legit old. But we'll see how that works out. I guess I don't have too much to say about it except for it's going to be a story about basically a couple that fall in love after a apocalyptic war. Like, kind of thing. Like, you know, just say, like, post-apocalypse. There we go. And they basically fall in love because they're kind of the only two people around in that area. And then they join a group of survivors, which is like a join or die thing. And slowly they find themselves ripped away or ripped apart because that one group becomes like a versus this bad, good, and evil kind of thing because of basically differences. And it's kind of, it's kind of like inspiration came from Stephen King's The Stand. That's where that came from. I must say that, but... That's kind of what my idea is, and I want to film it in black and white to make it look kind of old. I think that'd be cool. Um, if anyone has any like ideas for me, that'd be awesome to email me or send me a message on Facebook or even text me if you have my number or comment on this video. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to Dalton Baker, Daft One Bake. He's got a YouTube blog or video blog now, which a couple videos I'm with him and we're talking shit about the SOPA thing and basically all sorts of stuff. Uh, we don't really talk about movies like I do or music, like that kind of thing, but still, make sure you watch his videos. The guy does have some pretty good points, pretty interesting. Uh, with him, as far as my stuff goes, I think he could be, if, if you're listening to this, Dalton, you could be my next recruit for The Daily Bullshit, which will be the new web show with me and John Roman that we're starting it, since this is all going downhill. But... Anyways, watch his stuff, though. It is pretty interesting. Now, aside from web shows and all that kind of stuff, speaking of, like, Ike Harley, um, uh, what I've noticed a lot on the internet is that it's really starting to grow very complex. Like, the internet gets kind of boring, just in my personal opinion. There's a lot of things on there that make you want to get off of it now and not even go back. And speaking of that, what's up with the radio? Even the radio sucks nowadays. I ain't gonna lie. I am glad I have an iPhone. I'm just grateful. Like, you know, I used to be a big anti-Apple person, but when my dad got me an iPod second generation, I was, it was like the best thing I'd ever had. Then I got an iPhone. I love it to death. And even though I still have a lot of love in my heart for Microsoft, I definitely do like Apple now. And suggestion anyone is to get an iPhone because that's probably the best thing you can get for technology. Speaking of technology, now that we're on that subject, what I can't stand nowadays is how, and this is probably heard from everyone, a new thing comes out every day. You'll never have the best thing because something better always comes out. And like, I really wish we could just enjoy the technology that we have right now. Like, can't we enjoy it before? You know what I mean? Like with Steve Jobs dying, and I remember everyone freaking out about how Apple's going to suck, and I honestly think that with him gone it'll probably be the same, maybe even better, because there's still some creative people in that department, in that area, of course. I'm just saying, I can't stand how technology gets better and better every day. Like, we can't ever enjoy the things we have. It's just ridiculous. Like, I know that was a short video, but that's just kind of most of part two, and I gave you pretty much all the updates. Anyways, I don't know when episode 10 will be released, probably pretty soon, but stay in touch because this show is pretty much over. 
Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Shout out to Daff One Bake and my friend John Medina, who I don't even know if he has a YouTube account. I think it's John Needs Kush, if I can remember it correctly. Anyways, Medina, if you're watching this, I have prayers for you because, you know, personal thing. Um, basically, I'm praying for you, bro. Hope everything works out good. Dalton, we need to hang out sometime and do another YouTube video. To everyone that enjoys watching me ramble on, thank you for watching. Have a good night and go back to what you were doing because it's all over.